One question I was asked on Friday is how to embed a website, not a YouTube, inside a Moodle course. Uh, there's a few ways to try this. I think one of the best ways, or fastest ways, okay, that's not the best way, is uh, just to use it as a link, but say, hey, include uh, my navigation of my course. Then the page kind of looks like it belongs. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, here I am in eCommunity. Um, uh, let's go to a website that you might want. I've got a Apostrophe blog. Fantastic. You should check it out. Um, I don't mean my blog is fantastic. I mean Postris is fantastic. You go there, make your own blog. I use it as a class um, kind of homework. What's going on? Because you just once you set it up, you email it in, and it shows there. Oh, that's another tutorial. Okay, so uh, here I've emailed what happened today. Uh, so there's an audio file kids can play uh, and a link to courses and whatnot. But it's nicer if they see this in the context of my course. So let's go back. Let's uh, grab this URL. That's the address up top here. I'm just going to grab it and copy it. And then I'll zip back over here to eCommunity and go to a course I can mess with. I'll just go to the sandbox because you can do anything you want there. It doesn't matter at all. Um, so you can see I'm logged in as myself. That's important when you want to make a change in your course. Go to Turn Editing On. You go to the Editing Mode in Moodle. Um, and now let's just stick it right here in this section here under Stuff. So I'm going to say, well, I'm going to link to, oh, you probably won't see that in the video. Here, let's try it now. I'm going to link to a file or website and uh, give it a name. Um, my class blog. It really doesn't matter what the name is, something your kids will uh, understand or recognize. And then down here, I'm just going to paste in the, um, the URL of the particular website that I want to capture. Now I've got some options down here. So if it's under, uh, if this is all you see, then. Um, Actually, in this case, that's okay. So I'm going to go uh, same window, no, and then I need to go show advanced. And I'm going to say where it says show navigation, say yes. I'm going to say without frame. Now you can play with which one you like better. I used to do with frame all the time, and now I do without frame. So I'm going to pick without frame. So the key was link to file or website as a resource, the, the location, same window, yes without frame. Zip down to the bottom and save and return to course. So now when a student comes to my course, uh, I'll turn editing off so it looks how they might see it. They zip down here, they're going, oh, okay, okay, and then, uh, oh, here's a link, my class blog. And they click on it, and it keeps, see, this is the name of the course, and all the, the Moodle crumbs or whatever, and all that kind of stuff, but oh, here is my website, that posture site, and it's, it seems like it's somehow a part of my website, and it's not. This is just a piece of the web, totally inside your web. Now that's probably not true embedding, maybe that's not what you wanted, Nicole, but uh, it's a great start and it's quick. I didn't have to do any coding at all and, and hopefully that'll work for you. So uh, let me know if you need more than that. That's how to embed a website in your Moodle course.